Welcome back. Uh, we are continuing. Hopefully this is helping you out a little bit at home. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at an optics ray diagram. Now, we're going to do these in class too, but we're just going to start out very, very simple. The absolute simplest ray diagram that we can do. Um, we're going to do three rays and we are looking for the focal point of a lens. Here's a lens right here. We'll be using these in class. Nice little camel, or candle, excuse me. Uh, we call that the um, object, and then it's going to project the image here. And as you'll see in class, it's going to project it upside down. This lens right here is going to flip it upside down uh, just like your eyeballs do. The lenses in your eyeballs, everything that you see, it's on the back of your retina, but it's upside down on the back of your retina. So uh, let's see here. What we're going to do, what I'm going to teach you basically is how to do a three-ray diagram and we're looking for the focal point of the lens. And you'll see later, the focal point of the lens is so important because the focal point is the point that does not change, okay? First thing we have to do, and I'll do as best I can, this is a little bit hard on this uh, to draw on a computer, but we need a principal axis. Now, a principal axis is a line that goes right through the middle of a lens and is perpendicular to the lens, okay? Now, we can see where the lens is, whatever, if we wanted to put it on our meter stick or whatever. I'm going to say here, right here, I'm going to put my candle, my flame, okay? Now, that would be called the object. And we're going to say that right about here is my image, okay? And we would use the numbers on the meter stick to be able to draw all of this up to scale, okay? Now, we need to do three rays to be able to find out our ray or our focal point. Ray one is gonna go from the tip of our, you could use any point on this, but I'm just gonna use the tip of my candle, tip of my flame, and ray one's gonna go right through the very middle of our, uh, of our lens. So I'm gonna do this as best I can. And I got close to being right through the middle, but I'm gonna do as, as straight as possible. Now, we already know where our image is on our meter stick. That just gave me the height of our image. This is how tall the image is, okay? You could call this the magnification, all right? So, ray one goes from any point through the very middle, pretend that's the very middle, and it gives us how tall the image is. Now, ray two is probably the most important ray. Ray two is gonna be parallel to the principal axis, and then it's gonna refract at the lens, and it's gonna to go to that point right there. The whole reason we did ray one is just to get that point. So, it's gonna go parallel to the principal axis, then it's gonna refract, and it's gonna to go to that point right there, okay? Now that gave me the focal point. This is the focal point. Um, the focal point for this lens will never change. Sometimes you call it D sub F. D sub F is the distance between the lens to the focal point on the principal axis. Now, if we had all the numbers in here, we could estimate exactly where that focal point is, okay? Now, that's the most important thing. Um, this object, I could move my candle back and that's gonna change where the image is focused on this card but that focal point will not change for a lens. That's why we name lenses based on their focal points, okay? Ray three is not even that important. It just kind of completes the diagram. Ray three is parallel to the principal axis after the lens, so boom, just like that. And then it's gonna go up, boom, to that point right there, okay? to the point where the other rays originate. Just kind of completes the picture, makes it look nice, but we did our main thing here. We found our focal point, and that is what we are trying to do.